Hey guys, welcome to yet another video. So today um, I'm going to take you through Koha, the interface, both uh, the staff interface and the user interface. And here we're going to see the different fields, the different tabs and how they're used and who uses them. So to begin, I'm going to start with the staff interface and let me just log out for now because I'm, I want to show you this is a demo uh, demo koha so it means anybody can access this anywhere for your own practice and training so as you can see we have uh, we have different tabs different fields and when I jump over to this student or the user interface, we just have, uh, this is also what we call OPAC online public access catalog. So this is how it looks like. Again, this is a demo. It might look different with a di uh, different settings within your particular institution. So yeah, um, going back to the staff interface, once you log in, this is where you're taken to. Mind you, all these fields are not all the time available to everybody. It depends on the institution giving the rights to the different staff and who can do this, who can do that. So the good thing with the demo, you have all the rights and all the tabs are available for you. So starting with the circulation, we have, this is where you check in or check out books. Uh, when I say check in, uh, this the user bring uh, brings the book to the circulation staff, and they have to click and check in with the barcode of the particular book. And the barcode we're going to talk about all this down the line. So this is the circulation tab. We have check in, check out, renew the book whether the student wants to extend uh, the time period that they were given for the book uh, to read the book um, you also can transfer different books uh, this all these are, have different functions so going back to the next one which is patrons this is where you in um, add additional users we are called we, we call them pet, uh, patrons and also we have an advanced search this is where you search for a particular book with functional keywords so if i wanted to break it down to other particular order that i know you can search with that and then uh, we have item search this is where you just search all the items that you have uh, with a particular either you can put in a barcode or uh, yeah, so most of the time you're going to interact with, uh, as a staff, you're going to interact with circulation, patrons, advanced search most of the time, uh, cataloging, uh, you're also going to interact with reports if you're involved with those kind of rights, the tools where you create the, bar the barcodes, and also the Koha admin, this is who is going to be in control of who does this or that in Koha. The given the accounts, different accounts for the staff. Yeah, so I'm going to focus on circulation, patrons, uh, advanced search, cataloging. This is where I'm going next. This is uh, has different frameworks. So the common one that is used and it's preferred is the default one where you're able to see all the different fields and fill out uh, fill out all these fields this is a digital version of a library card for those ones who remember the library cards so this is a digital version or the automated version so all these sections or fields from 0 to 9 all these make up all the information that is needed 
to correctly search for a particular kind of book or correctly uh, note down the bibliographic details of a particular item so yeah and then we have tools as i mentioned this is where you can work with your uh, it department to know how you can be able to create barcodes and everything for your particular books and then cohort mean this is where you are able to you know adjust settings you want to add this to the particular interface you want to add that you want to add the amounts that they are charged to the students in case the book is over overdue so this is where you do all that cohort administration yeah and that's all about the interface the staff interface as i mentioned don't have so much on the user insta insta uh, user interface because this is where you just search if i just put a letter like a and then search i can be able to see different kind of books that are available but remember this is demo so it just shows you what it would look like if you're looking for a book any particular book this is where you search so uh, yeah this is the staff and the user interface otherwise known as OPAC so thank you thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and also leave your comment down thank you